So I write as a copywriter, that's kind of your basic thing. I write scripts, I write taglines, I write headlines, I write ridiculous things that no one sees. <laughs> Uh, my job as a copywriter is uh, mainly just storytelling. So that involves scripts, headlines, taglines, and just all of the word aspects of advertising. I handle all the words. So if it's a video, then I do the script. If it's a print ad, I do the words on it. I write example scripts for ideas that we choose, that we like, so we can kind of see what they look like. You know, after the strategist, you're the, the first creative that touches the project. You usually want to start out with a tagline, so just like a one phrase statement, couple words that just ties the whole idea together. So that's like the very first thing because you can't really go anywhere in a project or in a campaign until you have that idea down. And that's kind of the fun of being a copywriter for me is just brainstorming. And then from there we can choose what scripts we like, we expand on those scripts, I rewrite a bunch of scripts, constantly, constantly writing and rewriting scripts. I normally keep writing scripts until we film and on set I'm there being like script coordinator, making sure the right words are being said or changing things on the spot if they don't feel natural. Copywriters need to be able to tell a story and they need to be able to tell it well because ultimately you're telling a story but you're also trying to sell a product. Sometimes you have to be really short and concise and just use a couple words to say a lot of messages and sometimes you have to write a lot of words and have one central theme. Or they shouldn't stick to just one type of writing thing. They should know how to place their voice into many different voices. In order to, to be a good writer you have to know all the styles of writing, you have to know how to write what makes something good writing versus what makes something you know, bad or mediocre writing. You have to have big ideas and you also have to be able to execute. If you can kind of master those things, I think that you'd, you'll be a successful copywriter in the ad lab. Making the decision between creative and account was unexpected because I came in thinking I wanted to be an account manager, but then I think I had more opportunities to write and explore that creative side. Like I did sketch comedy and that's where I started writing and I realized I liked writing that way. And so that kind of morphed into the ad program and that's when I decided to be a copywriter. The decision for me between creative and account came in uh, 2.30, the intro to advertising class, where we started out with the research and I just felt like the research was the boring part I had to trudge through before we could start writing and making the fun things. Um, when I kind of got down to the nitty gritty, I realized that I was gonna be happier making things and creating things. I'm a writer. I feel like I've always been a writer. And so um, that's the path I chose. Go all in 100% on your personality. Figure out what makes you different and really capitalize on that. Find something that you really enjoy making and just start exploring that on the side. Um, and definitely write as much as you can. And then reading is so overlooked. You can learn so much just by reading other people's writing. And I think that's everything. <laughs>